guest is coming right about, aha, here she is. Hello. Hi. Uh, so why don't you walk us through what you're, we're gonna make today as I awkwardly type in mm -hmm. what we're doing. Okay. So today we're gonna make strawberry whipped milk. Well, I went viral last week and you've probably seen everywhere. You just need Nesquik and strawberry flavor or chocolate if you like and heavy whipping cream. Super easy. Where did this idea come from? Well, I saw all the Delgona coffee videos go viral like a few months ago in TikTok. I feel like all the food trends come to TikTok first. And then I got a lot of comments of people who don't like coffee. And I myself, I really like coffee, but <laughs> I cannot really tolerate caffeine. It gets me super jittery and anxious. <laughs> so I wanted to do something that was fluffy and cute, but I could also enjoy. And I was grocery shopping and I'm just usually just buy like whatever I see. I have like a terrible attention span. Like I'll see anything shiny and like I'll grab it and buy it and then <laughs> spend like hundreds in groceries. So I got Nesquik and I had heavy whipping cream and it just combined them. It was it's funny. Delicious. I can drink, I wake up at 5.30. I pretty much immediately have a gigantic glass of cold brew coffee. In my pre-situation life, I would then work out and have another giant glass of Cobra coffee. Now I've been working a little bit and then having a hot coffee randomly. I don't really know why. Um, so by 9.30, I've had the equivalent of like six cups of coffee. I love, I love coffee. It's not even a caffeine thing. I don't feel it at all. I just love drinking it. But I think this is a fun and unique spin. If people don't enjoy coffee. I like the taste of coffee. I like the flavor of coffee. Just, I think I'm one of the few. I don't drink it for, for caffeine purposes. I just really like the taste i'm half colombian half italian both cultures are very so, like coffee, coffee should be like running through your veins then yeah. <laughs> but my poor body can handle it I think that's the being mixed you kind of like your genetics fail you <laughs> it cancels out <laughs> i think so someone said just let her make it duh well, we will get there, guys. This is the point of having fun and making live videos is we get to chit chat and have fun. And we'll get to making it. Don't worry. Stay tuned. Um, just, oh, everyone wants us to just make it. Everyone wants both of us to shut the hell up and just make the drink. So what's the first step? You don't want to continue <laughs> your podcast too much to say. Your followers are feisty. I'm going to say that your followers saying that, not mine. My followers are wonderful, wonderful people who always I'm such a sweetheart. Stuff. I don't think I'm the one with the feisty followers. <laughs> Jeremy literally complains about everything on his stories. Not like that it's bad, but I feel like he's a very opinionated person. <laughs> that's true. They're, they're happy just looking at you. They don't want to see me. I think that's the issue. <laughs> okay. Well, we what can get started if that's what the people want. All right, that's what the people want. Tell me what. So, what's the what's the first step? Okay. So, just grab a mixing bowl. Got it. Big enough so that you can you can whisk in it because yep. you don't want it to like spill over. Also, it since you're putting all the air into it, it tends to grow. So, it, but it's better to go bigger than than smaller. Okay. Okay, and then you grab your Nesquik. Mm -hmm. And so my recipe has one tablespoon for, and then of Nesquik and four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, but I'm going to make double this time for the sake of this double. video. All right, we'll go. I'm we'll go double heavy. up. All right. I mean, you can do one if you want. I don't know if Jeremy's a fan of the girly drinks. <laughs> Someone said their drink never gets... Thick. I will say it will come down. We were talking this before we, we, we came on live with you guys. It definitely comes down to what milk you use. The fattiness is what makes it thick. I will say too, we're both making it by hand, which takes a while. And like last time I, I made the dug on a drink, I whipped for about 15, 20 minutes just to get it sort of close to something. If you have a hand mixer, that will make your life instantly easier. You could whip the shit out of it for two minutes and it will definitely whip. Actually, um, even less. The problem with the hand mixer, it goes so fast that it, it starts to churn and it actually starts to turn into butter and you kind of mess up the texture. Oh, interesting. So you have to be careful with the hand mixer, uh, with the electric mixer, but we'll do it by hand now. We're both going to end up sweating, but we'll prove That's to cool. you guys that you can do it by hand. <laughs> 
Uh, with this. Okay. All right. So, so yes. Okay. I'm going to do two tablespoons of Nesquik. Gotcha. I drink. I'm big into measuring, but I know that you can kind of eye it. It depends on how strong you want it. You also don't want to put too much of it because then your drink's not going to whip. It's going to bring down the, the heavy whipping cream and it's not going to be able to get to that fluffy texture. Okay. So you don't want it to be too heavy either. So two tablespoons. And I also, I haven't had, I don't know if I've ever really had strawberry Nesquik. I mean, obviously like as a kid, I grew up with chocolate Nesquik, but it, <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Because I'm not a big fan of um, artificial strawberry flavors, <laughs> even though I'm the one that wanted to make this drink. I know. Rolling, my, rolling your eyes at me. Uh, only because I thought it was fun. And for me, the fun part about food is like, okay, maybe in my brain, I don't think I like something, but it's all about like experimenting and trying new things. And I'm excited to try something new. So the fact that, look at my brain, I don't think I like this, but I haven't had it in so many years. Let's have it, maybe have it in a new form and then have a new appreciation for it. I think that's the fun yeah, part I mean, of cooking. That's what to me it smells like childhood. That I, I lived off of this. Maybe that's why I'm so short. It's maybe it's staggering. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like Pepto Bismol. I mean, it could be no, my mind playing tricks to make some looks like I that. I love the flavor, the smell, and the color. It's so pretty. Come on. <laughs> it is pretty. I'll give you that. It's pink. <laughs> okay. Now um, let's do heavy whipping cream. So All right. you could do either eight tablespoons or half a cup. Eight tablespoons. So right, well, I, got the, I got the tablespoon out. Might as well do that. Okay. Um, Juice the cup. Two, three, okay. five, six, okay. seven, all right, eight it is. Looks so pretty already. I don't know how you don't like this. Well, well, I mean, I don't know if I would say it looks pretty yet. Listen, how food looks is very important, but I always say, you know, it's going to come down to the taste, so I will wait to see. Yes, chocolate Nes Oh, like Nesquik is very nostalgic. I don't think I really had it with the powder. I definitely remember having like the little pre-made cartons of Nesquik that I would just drink. I always thought the, the, the powder tastes better because I made it look a little bit stronger. Mm. I don't know. I mean, for me, I grew up, I was born in Colombia and I moved uh -huh. around a lot. So when I was little, like the commercials were everywhere and it's like what we drank. I, they also had the vanilla one. That was my favorite after mm. strawberry and then I also lived in Panama it was also a big deal there I think in in Latin America Nesquik was like a big big staple and this this one's the one that this one's in Spanish like I got it here in Miami here in Miami oh. there's so many like the Spanish influence is so big that this one says sabor a fresa like fresas and strawberry in Spanish <laughs> I love it so I, I think I have like the Spanish version <laughs> okay so now all you have to do is whisk this is gonna take a minute or two or okay. ten. Are we racing to see yeah. what what consistency? This is not fair because Jeremy works out and he's like a whole foot <laughs> taller than me. How tall are you? I am six four. Five so, four. So exactly a foot taller. Okay, so someone's asking. Um, they thought I was Italian. I'm half Italian, half Colombian. My dad's Italian, and that's Colombian. Make me a fucking ice cream right now. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Although I guess you could. This could be if you adapt. If you, you could adapt this. Yeah, no, it's you, it, you could adapt. I mean, ice cream is basically heavy whipping cream. Like you can put this yeah. in, in the freezer. You can freeze this and not whip it as much, and it's it's gonna be ice cream. There you go. See, we did it. Progress. I'm getting some bubbles. Uh, sure. Are you getting bubbles? Yeah, a little bit. Is that good or bad? Good. You're you're putting air into it. Okay. Wait, are you making you're ice cream? Making... No. No, we're making. So read the pinned comment, guys. This is what I do. We're making strawberry whipped milk. Well, how it's many so articles? How many articles? <laughs> how many articles was this featured in last week? At least 20. It was on time, Fox News. <laughs> I was so surprised about Fox News. That one kind of <laughs> threw me off. Glamour 17, Cosmo, Insider, Twice. Like, it's everywhere. 
and the funny thing is that I didn't even notice yeah and I didn't even notice like I didn't notice about the first few like a friend texted me like hey you're in this article I'm like no way and then like the next day like 15 more I literally got 50,000 followers on Instagram in one week (laughs) is this the highest amount of likes you've ever got on something this yeah it has like at 640,000 all right I'm getting thicker What do we say? 15, 15 minutes of this. Maybe I'll try so you're with supposed to smile through it, like kind of look at the camera very creepily. You're like, <laughs> I'm enjoying this. This form of uh, poetry. Someone asked, "Did you come up with it?" I know we spoke about it at the beginning, but tell the origin stories again, in case people missed. Origin story. Well, so I'm a pretty avid TikTok user. I love TikTok. It's so funny. And I remember seeing the Delgana coffee and that's been on TikTok for a few months. I think that TikTok gets all the cool trends first, but I kept on seeing the kids trying it out and commenting like, I don't like this. It's so strong. I don't like coffee. So, and I myself, I like the taste of coffee, but I can't really drink it too much because I'm, I don't combine well with caffeine. I get really anxious and jittery. So I decided to come up with a different alternative and I saw Nesquik in the supermarket down here in Miami and I got inspired. I thought, okay, I might make this into like some pretty pink drink or something and it worked out. It's getting thicker. Well, mine is thickening. What a- yeah. So wait, so what other flavor variations have you made with this since then? I've made a Biscoff one. So cookie butter, that one was really good. I made a Nutella one, that was pretty good too. I've made caramel, I made like, well, I made like a few coffee ones. Like I made Vietnamese coffee. Can you guys see me? I feel like my screen kind of froze. Hmm, you're frozen to mine too. Hmm. Hmm. (laughs) What's going on with yours? Maybe you get off and add yourself back on, we'll see what happens. Okay. Let's see. I'll just kick you off. Uh, oh, no, now I see you. Oh, no. Did I turn off the stop? Wait a second. All right, guys. Instagram Live. Te- technical difficulties. Uh, we are Hi. making, if you're just tuning in, strawberry wilt- whipped milk. All right, I'm going to kick you off and then you can join. Again. Uh, remove. Okay. Wait, my, my milk's almost ready. Be back in two seconds, guys. <laughs> you just have to look at me for a minute. Uh, so we're making strawberry whipped milk. Well, whipped milk. We are currently whipping by hands, which is why you just see you can us. Add me again. Doing nothing. All right. Uh, let's see here. And should be back in two seconds. Had to log off everything. Yeah, sorry, guys. Instagram. Oh, everyone's going live, and it. I'm back. There she is. Okay, we're back. Um, oh my god! I'm looking. Ready. I'm looking thick. What, like again, like what kind of thickness do you want? I mean, show me. You don't want to do it. I think you're almost ready. You don't want to do it too thick. Yeah, you're it's ready. Not, oh, I'm ready. All right, so I beat you. Yeah, because if you keep on um, <laughs> a mixing, and you're gonna churn it, it's gonna go like into pink. Oh, becomes, like, all right. Milk. I'll do that. I'm gonna. Yeah, almost I'm, ready. I'm gonna get a little taste. Ah. There. Oh yeah. See, you can do it by hand. You just have to be patient. I think this is a perfect texture. If you go beyond this, it's gonna start to like separate and look. I have to say, buttery. It's pretty good. I think you're right. I think like you can go crazy with the strawberry flavor, but to me, it's more of um, you're more of just getting the hint of strawberry than anything. It's not overwhelmingly strong, which is what I was hoping for. No, I mean, you could add more of this, but I didn't, I don't want it to be overly sweet. I think I liked it very strong when I was a kid, Mm. but now that my taste has become more refined, I find it too sweet. So I think the next thing is just to serve it over iced milk. I like, I mean, the reason why I use ice in my milk is so the, the fluffiness, like it stays on top. So the whipped milk stays on top because if not, it's just going to sink. And I want it to be on top for photos and whatnot, but you, you don't have to do it. Cause I see a lot of people, especially 
those who are not American who get kind of scared at the thought of having ice in their milk? Really? Well, so it's funny. My sister used to do that when she was little. I don't, I wouldn't be scared of it. I always thought it was strange, but I mean, it, it makes sense for this country. Uh, someone asked how well, much I mean, it's like a nice yeah. latte. Yeah, so, exactly. Someone asked how much did we use? You want to go over the measurements one more time while I get a Okay, class? yeah, let's do this again. So for every, you can use one tablespoon of Nesquik and then you'll need four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. That'll do half of what we made here, but I decided to make double so I would have a bigger portion. So that's the ratio. So for every scoop of Nes um, tablespoon of Nesquik, you'll need four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. So are you ready? I actually want to put, like, I put some powder Nesquik on my rim mm. for fun. So I'm going to do that with agave, but you can use any kind of syrup. It could be corn syrup or anything sticky. Smart. All right, let me see what I have. Um, do you have anything? I definitely have honey because I just used it. It's just a matter of what I, I did with it. Goes well. um, I have spicy honey. I know I have regular honey somewhere. What's wrong with me? I swear to you, I just used the Hey, Jeremy, someone's telling you, Mr. Brunch, I very much want to have a beer like yours. A beer like mine? Yeah. Well, um, I think if you try hard enough, you can do it. And now, now that you're in quarantine, you have time to like go through the awkward stages of beard growth because no one's going to have to see you. So now's the time to do fun things with uh, your beard. Oh, this is gonna annoy me. No end. What the fuck do I do? Someone's asking if you're, if I'm single. The real question, because she's wifey AF. <laughs> wifey AF. Hmm. That's a compliment. That's a nice little compliment. I think so. I mean, I said like at the beginning of quarantine that like I was just going to embrace the like stay at home wife lifestyle, like cooking every single day. And I'm actually enjoying it very much. I've been doing the same. All I do is cook and clean all day. Two things I never yeah. do ever. Um, I'm going to come out of here with major. Here, I, the the wifey here. <laughs> I don't know what I did with the whatever. So I'll skip the garnish for now, but. Um, okay. Okay, well, it's super easy. It's an unnecessary step. I just do it for fun. I just put a little bit of agave on a plate. You can use anything sticky, maple syrup, anything, any kind of syrup. And then you just kind of get the rim. Oh, I found it. I put it in the wrong spot. See, this is what happens when you put things in the wrong spot. You can't find it then. Found it. So, yeah, you just get it on your rim. And some people are going to be kind of triggered by this and scream cross-contamination, but I really don't care. I'm just going to stick put the glass in there. I'm the only person drinking this. <laughs> oh, wait, I put the and I don't want to get any other plate dirty. Sorry. So, yeah, then you just stick it in the powder. Mm -hmm. I oh, wait. Be, I think it'd be a little easier. Yeah. Yeah, so there we go. I'm going to put a little on the plate because I think... Just my, my box is different than yours. I can't fit a glass in there. You don't have the Spanish one. <laughs> yours is better. <laughs> mine is in Spanish. Authentic Latin recipe. Maybe mine tastes different from yours. I don't know. All right, this looks good. Is mm -hmm. in there? Now, what kind of, um, you, what kind of milk do you use in the drink then? Um. I either Same use coconut milk? milk or whole milk. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna do oat milk. This I also yeah. bought uh I actually haven't been refined this in a while, but I found it the other day. Uh macadamia milk is uh is really good too. I like oat macadamia because both I think are a little bit more like um a little more on the creamier. I don't love creamy side, but a touch more creamy. And honestly, they're both much better for the environment than soy. That's sort of why I drink less dairy, so. I can drink macadamia. I have an allergy, but I do really like oat. So, okay, I'm going to get some ice from my fridge and be right back. All right. I will try and answer these questions. 
Uh, and if guys, if we miss your questions, just because like only two come up at a time, so just keep re-asking until we answer them. I mean, if they're if they're good questions, if they're not good questions, ignore. But if you think you have a really good question, just keep asking until we see it. It's hard sometimes to look up. Discourage them. <laughs> what do you do? Well, I, I don't want good. I don't want good questions to be pushed away. Have you tried kerma milk? No. What's? Do you know what kerma milk is? I don't know what that is. Wait, what? Kerma milk. I think it's karma. Oh, karma. I think that's a brand. Oh, is that the know. one that has no dairy? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to use coconut milk. Watch, I'm like drinking it right here. All right. Mm -hmm. I like coconut milk. So, yeah, just fill your glass with milk. Yeah. No, we just add our strawberry with milk with you just spoon it in yep well that was a big spoon how much do you want to put on there most i can't put on. <laughs> <But I'm, laughs> oh, okay <laughs> i want it to like overflow oh okay I'm just i will add there. as much as i can we'll kind of sink a little bit there you no, know, we made like double the portion, and I feel like I'm using like the whole thing. All like well, I think it also depends on how much you want. Like, I was careful with the portions because I get so many comments like, oh, this is so unhealthy, this and that. But I think everything in moderation, and this is like a blizzard, this is a little, a little treat, you know? I'm not telling you to drink this every day. No, I mean, I say that about everything I post. It's like, I do healthy things here and there. Like I posted a healthy egg white bites the other day, but I think like it's fun to make yeah. indulgent food, eat indulgent food, but that's not necessarily the way you eat every meal. It's not the way I eat every meal, just fun examples of what you can do. Um, I also bought some strawberry syrup they're gonna put on top. Mm -hmm. Just having fun. Oh, sprinkles, that's a good call. I have sprinkles, do we have sprinkles? I'm gonna add a little strawberry. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, you were actually much smarter than me. Fresh strawberry would have tasted much better. I did not get that. Like that. So pretty. Uh oh. Oh yeah, the fresh strawberry makes it. I like that. Oh shit. This oh boy, this like comes out. <laughs> we need to start a swear jar, Jeremy. <laughs> I, you know what? I brought oh, that up there today. I brought that up to the other day to someone. I'm like, maybe that's something I have to work on. But I was like, I would never catch myself just in my own, just being by myself because I curse constantly and I have no idea. Um, here's my drink. Not as pretty, but I bet you taste just good. So I put a little syrup on there. So are you going to add sprinkles? I don't have sprinkles. I thought you had them. No. I know I don't have sprinkles. Just the syrup. <laughs> what did you put in it works so good uh yeah so i guess if you're just joining us and you missed us sort of making it it's just strawberry nesquik heavy whipping cream and that's it and then that's ice good. and whatever milk you want it's very simple i want to take a photo of it oh yeah maybe i should do that before i drink it too oh no my camera's oh boy my main camera is filming me right now but I'm i just have my camera oh you have the real camera, camera out oh shit I'm not, I'm, you're more prepared than Wait, I Wait, I don't even have an SD card in it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm just going to use my cell phone. I failed. I remake everything the next day for beauty, so I'll take real photos tomorrow of this. What's what I do? Oh, boy. Wait, did I actually take the photo or no? What the fuck happens? Okay. Having like and a... I, I like to drink this stuff with straws. I think it makes it easier to push down the, the whipped milk to the bottom and mix it. Uh, yeah, let me just see if I, I think I have a straw somewhere. Because, right, I'm going to get it all over. Someone that, the person that enjoyed my, my beard, one uh, downside of having a beard is that everything gets in it. So, a straw would actually be very helpful. I mean, you're, you're actually, you have an Abraham Lincoln beard. <laughs> it's still messy. I have, oh, wait, let me see if I get a straw. It makes more sense. 
Copper, copper, wait. Um, someone's asking what camera do I have? Um, I have a really, a really small camera. It's a Canon mirrorless, it's an M50, and this is a 50 millimeter lens. I just like it because I can take it everywhere, but no DSLR. It's a good, it's a good vlogging camera. Oh, that is true. Okay, I'm this gonna is good. Mm-hmm. And I think for even a person that thinks like it's a little overindulgent, it's not really, yeah. it's not really, it's like we were saying at the top of this, like I'm not a big sweets person. And to me, this isn't overwhelmingly sweet. Yeah, that's because we didn't add that much Nesquik to it. Like we made mm -hmm. it balanced. I mean, you can add more if you like, but right. it's not necessary. But it sort of is like a not over the top sweet dessert. I mean, it's in the dessert category. Mm. I'm a fan. You converted me. See, I was very, this is why I told you I wanted you to make this with me because I was like, I don't know. Maybe I get it. But now that I made it, I like it. Or should it's we answer matcha. some questions? Sure, yeah, guys. Throw questions at us. We're here. Uh, mix of matcha. Matcha would be good. A matcha whip. Did you I do matcha. that? I made, I made some yesterday. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I thought I saw you making something matcha. Um, I made a vegan one, but you can follow more or less the same steps and use matcha. But the thing with matcha powder is that it's very strong. So I would recommend just using a teaspoon because it's very bitter and maybe add something to sweeten it up like sugar. Yeah. I like the bitterness, or but yeah, you have to like be very yeah. careful. Be care very careful with the amount also because like for you, that's like your effects about a caffeine. There's a lot of caffeine in matcha. Like you don't realize. But I think it affects it you different than coffee caffeine. I feel it like it's a different. Matcha's, it's almost like a buzzy thing than like a pulsating thing. Matcha doesn't get me as jittery as coffee. Matcha latte is the best drink ever. I love it. Yeah, I like it. Uh, in New York, uh, they're all over. Actually, there's in Japan and LA. Um, oh God, all the names confuse me. Uh, matcha bar. Is really good here in New York. They make great ones. No, I meant as a swirl. Her, uh, oh, oh, matcha swirl like her atlas. Oh yeah, I saw her atlas making matcha drinks too. I guess I see her doing that every day, so that makes sense. Um, can I tell you to? Okay, so guys, if you're just tuning in and you miss us making it, this video will live in my story for the next 24 hours. It's there. I'm also going to produce a, a full video for YouTube and a full video for Instagram and a full video for TikTok. So if you missed any of this anywhere, I promise you could get it. And the direction is also, I, I mean, it's on your profile right now also. So if you missed okay. it there, you get to see it. Yeah. So I mean, it's super easy. One tablespoon of Nesquik mixed with four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. That's it. It's a two ingredient recipe. And I like the idea of taking it in other directions. Like tomorrow, when I remake this, I bought peanut butter powder and I can make a peanut butter version, see how that goes, and mess with it a little bit. I got a couple of the flavor combinations in my brain, it might be good. But like, I'd like that you sort of like have this baseline and you can take in whatever direction you want is fun. Um, how do you, sign language? I don't know. I just talk with my hands because I'm a New Yorker, but there's no real sign language happening <laughs> here. Someone's asking, what's the next milk I'm going to make? I actually, I'm not running out of ideas, but I don't know if the whole milk trend is getting old. So if you guys have any ideas and you want me to make something into um, a milk, I'm happy to. But I love if you could give me some ideas or discuss like if it's getting old or if you want more like recipes. Because I have plenty of ideas. I just don't know if you guys want to see them. What do you think, Jeremy? Um, I think it's always good to, you've made this trend, let all, let everyone follow you and you set the next trend. I agree with that. Um, somebody asked me if it hurt when I walked into the wall. So they're referencing my Japan video. Uh, no, that was fake. Uh, we came across a little mini bridge that was like four feet tall or five feet tall maybe. And I thought, hmm. Uh -huh. but the first was like, let's do a photo, like make it funny. Like you standing above, like I was taller than the bridge, but I'm like, no. I think I can make a funnier video out of this. So we shot that like 20 different times on cell phone, on my camera, on everything to perfect me hitting the, the, the bridge of my head. 
and it did not get hurt. I thought it was real. Oh, I'm good. It like, I mean. Good it, after. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. That actually I think was my first take also, the one I just did at the best. And then we reshot it because I wanted it on my phone and my camera a bunch of times. Um, but that one is good. Very okay, try to see. He's a reality show. He's a good actor. Okay. Well, you know, I used to produce reality TV, so I know how to fake stuff really, really. So you're saying it's all fake? I promise you it's all fake. <laughs> Tell us about a show that's fake, that everyone thinks is real, but it's actually fake. I mean, does anyone think any of them are real at this point? Oh, well, here's the thing. With, with competition mm -hmm. shows, um, if, there is, if there are set rules and money at stake, you cannot fake it. So where you can fake it is you can't fake it in terms of like having someone win or lose because that's not fair. Where you can mess with it is by building drama where there's maybe not necessarily drama. So like a, an easy example, we'll go cooking shows because that's a lot of what I did. Um, are I'm you still crazy. alive? Yeah. No, I'll, anyway, I'll kick you off, come back on and I'll keep telling my story in the meanwhile. Um, all right, so on like a cooking show, like Chop per se, you can't mess with the game, but you could build drama. So let's say I'm, I'm whipping my milk. And what you do is the judges then say, oh, uh, you want to build a story around whipping the milk. So what could go wrong with whipping milk? Well, you could over whip it. You could over whip it. And then um, it, it goes bad. So that's the story. Okay, well, how do we get the story? So you, you, you basically you fuck with it. You <clears throat> have footage of me whipping the milk. You cut the shots when I'm looking nervous. You then tell the judges to bring up the consistency of the milk and the judging. And then there's your story arc of, oh my God, is it going to be overwhelmed? And then you, you basically, you have me say stuff in the interview too, like, hey, what's going on with milk? Well, I don't know. I could overwhelm. I might overwhip it. I might overwhip it. And whipping and whipping, but you build up the drama. It's something that's sort of happening, but you dramatize it even more. So there are levels of faking it. I mean, I was a PA on Snooky JWoww. So that is more like a reality show. Like that stuff is all fake. Like it's, they set up the games, they set up the, not the games, they set up the, the day, the challenges, whatever, what the motivations are, what's happening. That's fine. I don't think it's anything, like I, I'm saying that, like I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think like, listen, I, I grew up a wrestling fan. I'm a wrestling fan. Wrestling is fake, but you watch it because it's fun and you get into it and you want to believe. And that's, that's TV. I mean, I just, you guys just think people need to understand that. Like if you're watching it, that's not real life. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just be aware, I guess. Don't believe anything. Believe this. If you see on, on, us on Instagram and live, we're real. Don't believe anything else, I guess. But yes, that was my very long-winded response. I don't remember what the question was. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if anyone else has any other questions. Should just take a while. Yeah. It's good. Mm. Mm. I'm just heating my left over. I like that it sort of like melted down into the milk a little bit. So now it's even more mixed. Can you ask a question? Why did you want to try today and doesn't work? You put it in your place. Why did I want to make this today? Well, <clears throat> I think we sort of talked about this at the beginning, but to me, um, the fun part about food is trying new foods and experimenting, coming up with fun stuff. And I think like if you were alive last week and turned on the internet, you couldn't not see this drink. And so I thought, well, I can either make it myself and taste it or what I do is I try and bring in guys cool content. So I'm like, let's go to the source. Let's I also think that for Jeremy, he, was, he didn't think he would like it. He already said that <laughs> not particularly a fan of big strawberry or pink drinks like this one. Like he... He was nervous about it. He was like, I don't know if I like it. And he ended up liking it. So it's a matter of trying new things. I mean, just for fun. I mean, what else are we going to do right now? I, I, I mean, that's it too. I think like that's why I've been cooking more and more of just like, well, one, I got to produce content. That's what I do. But two, I think like it's, it's fun experiments and it's fun like seeing what works and what doesn't work. Even, um, even little things. So like I did a live video over the weekend and we made... Um, zucchini lemon ricotta pancakes and I ate them and I thought they were fantastic and again I want to go more into savior route with pancakes but I thought to myself I'm like huh it might be 
this might be a time when I want something a little sweeter because I thought that the ricotta really balanced it out really well when her batter itself is so savory. Um, so then I went this week and I made the same recipe, but instead of zucchini, I used blueberries. So I put bl fresh blueberries in the batter and then I made a blueberry syrup to go on top. And it was fantastic. So that was the fun part of like, all right, this, this sort of worked I like this. What else can I do with it? And that's the, the joy of cooking and eating new things and finding new foods. And I mean, that's the, why I like traveling and doing what I do. It's finding things that I couldn't eat. I mean, I'm very lucky to be in New York where I can find most food, but it's not the same. Like when I go to Miami, there's places in Miami that I love going to because I can't get that kind of food in New York. And I'm repping Miami today for you. I got the old I, school Marlins hat on. I did not even notice. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Wait, which team? Oh, God. This is the old school Florida Marlins. Or then there were the Florida Marlins, now the Miami Marlins. This is back in the day. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I know that. <laughs> this is your home team. Um, I went to a game once. I actually went to a game there, too. They, uh, Year, I was filming a show there years ago. To game, they have a, we got to go on the field before the game. They have, if you guys haven't been there, there's a fish tank behind home home plate. <laughs> Is that still there? Or did they take that out? That um, no, there's. It's, I don't think so. I mean, it's, just, it's like it's, it's a little. Wait, I'm not sure. You were asking the wrong person. <laughs> I'll <laughs> I'll get back to you with that. I'll ask an expert. Right, I'm we'll a Miami person. We'll figure it out. Uh, someone said they're from Argentina. My family, my grandfather was born in Argentina and I still have, uh, there's like, now at this point, probably three generations of Jacobowitzes in Argentina somewhere. So if you are, if you run into a Jacobowitz, I'm going to guess that I'm related to them in Argentina. We're like, what are the odds that they're not? What? Have you met? No, so I know like second cousins have gone down there, met them. So I know they exist somewhere. Um, but what happened was my great grandparents left Poland a hundred years ago. I don't know, whatever year it was. Um, and the boat was going to come to America. And America uh, said, no, you guys can't come here. It's a boat full of Jews. And they're like, no, you guys can't come here. So the boat went to Argentina. So then my grandfather was born there. So my great grandparents aren't from there. My great, my grandfather is from there. <clears throat> he was born there. He lived there until he was 10. So then at that point they were able to move to America. But at that point they'd been there for a decade. So half the family was like, we're going to stay. And half the family mm -hmm. made the way to America. So, my, so someone asked, do I speak Spanish? I do not. Um, but my grandfather spoke Spanish fluently till the day he passed away. So somewhere in me. I do speak Spanish fluently. I can barely speak English fluently, so. <laughs> <laughs> so um, But yeah, so some somewhere down there, it's family. All right, let's see. Any other questions, or we could. Uh, do you have a question, button? Oh, the question. Free. Oh, is that how it works? Any real questions? Oh no. Are they able to do that? Sometimes it shows up. Like there's like a question oh. button and, and it's like a QA feature. You know, some some of the newer features I don't have because I'm an Android, I'm not an iPhone. So like even the ability to like show media, I can't do. And it annoys me to no end that I don't have all the Instagram live features. I have no clue. Yeah, you can do cool stuff. Oh actually I, I screwed up also for my live broadcast going forward. Uh, I don't know about tonight, but for the ones I have planned next week, they added a new uh, charity button. So what you could do is before you go live, you pick the charity and then everybody that comes in, uh, if they want to, obviously there's no pressure to whatever, uh, they're able to donate to that charity, which is really cool. Um, That's amazing. But yeah, so a bunch of lives. Oh, we're getting a question. Me. Have you been to Colombia? I think they're asking you because I was yeah. born there. <laughs> uh, I, have, I have not, unfortunately. We need to take Jeremy to Columbia. When I think was, he would love the food. When was the last time you were there? Oh, I haven't been since I moved here. So really? Seven wait, years. So how, wait, so how old were you when you moved? No, 14, 15. Oh, I, 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 I guess I just guessed you were even younger. Okay. No, uh, but I lived in Panama before. So Panama is very similar to the U.S. in the, like, 
in a lot of aspects. Panama City feels like a little Miami. And I went to a very American school. So I was pretty much Americanized before I moved here. So it wasn't that big of a cultural shock as you would expect it. Gotcha. So it was horrible. But, and then my dad's Italian. So I've always been exposed to kind of being from everywhere and many different cultures. Like I, I get kind of nervous when people ask me, where are you from? Because I don't even know myself. And then I love so many places and I'm just half and half. Yeah, mine's easy. I've never lived anywhere else but New York. I was born in Brooklyn. Uh, I grew up in the suburbs in Westchester. I went to NYU, and now I'm back living in Brooklyn. So, never anywhere else. <laughs> you're you guys. I mean, you look like you're from New York too. You have that North look. What's a, what's a New York look? What does that mean? White. You're like you never see the sun. You're the whitest person. Oh, so more presence and attitude than physical features. Well, physical features do I feel like you wear a lot of plain t shirts. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I mean, I don't know. You just look a little bit pissed off sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I remember when I first met you, I thought you were so unapproachable. Like, I mean, New Yorkers just have this demeanor. They're just like, I don't know. Resting bitch face is what we call it, I guess. A little bit. <laughs> but you, I mean, but once you get to know Jeremy, you're like after hello, you'll realize he's a really nice person. I try. Even when I even when I write feisty things on my stories, <laughs> it all comes from a good place. I'm trying to educate and help. <laughs> educate and help. <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> the Instagram community thanks you. You're welcome. Um, all right. Any last questions? And then we'll, let's get 30 second countdown. Get your last questions in now and then we'll call it. Yeah. I have to clean the kitchen now. I got to clean it. I, actually, I, I still have to clean it from today. I loaded up my entire dishwasher and it's still was not enough to clean up everything that I cooked this morning. So I have a lot of long day ahead, but and I'm sorry, I woke up at five this morning. Sure. I don't know what was wrong. I, I woke up at 4.30. I don't know what was wrong with me this morning. I woke up very early this morning. I feel like you always wake up early. I get texts from you like so early in the morning. <laughs> I wake up, my alarm's set for 5.30. So I'm always, and I wake up before my alarm every day, but generally it's like 10 minutes. Today I was just like 4.30 and I'm like, well, I'm up. I mm -hmm. guess I got stuff to do anyway. So, um, yesterday I fell asleep pretty early. I probably fall asleep ten thirty or eleven. Oh, so around the same are you guys? Time I did, but I wake up at seven. Uh, someone asked, "Are you joining the hashtag uh, baking on TikTok?" Yeah, I'm gonna post a video right when we're done with this. No, it's TikTok. what's the hashtag baking on TikTok? It's one of the trending videos. One of the trending tags today is baking something. Oh, I posted one video today about the cinnamon roll in a mug. It's like I posted yesterday on Instagram. But I used to hashtag something like about teaching. Oh, there's like a tutorial one too that's trending today. Yeah, so I thought those were similar. Okay, maybe I'll post something else tonight. Uh, well, the thing that I posted today was maybe yeah. you could actually maybe you could actually answer this for me. On TikTok, I get a lot of people commenting sup. Just sup. And I was like, a like I know what, yeah, and like I know what sup means, but I was like, is this like some weird young person TikTok thing that like they're making fun of me that I don't know what they're talking about? You know what you're doing? I think I have to remind you that I'm still much older than the average TikTok. <laughs> but you're so ingrained I, in it, so much better than me. <laughs> I'm still much older, so I I don't I don't know. Uh, there's things that I had to look up. Like I remember when the whole CEO of something started the trend like CEO of cooking. I'm like, how are you the chief executive officer of cooking? How I does still that don't understand. Make sense? Wait, what wait, what is that? Like you're you're the CEO, like you're the best person at whatever. Oh, like oh. You're the CEO of oh, oh. I don't know, like that I understand. Editing or CEO See this is the thing. But it took me a while. But, but that's everyone's a very like simp. everyone's called the simp now. The simp? S I M P simp. What does that mean? It's like it has a negative connotation. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, like let's say you like girl and you follow her around and 
but she doesn't pay attention and you're like simping behind her like you're just like you're you're just dumb like you're getting friend zone like it could be applied <laughs> to anything like any guy who says this over a girl is simping oh great <laughs> and then when they call you a simp it's like you're the personification of that person of that of that whole action of running behind mm. people or just kind of being like like a loser a little bit Oh, all right. So that's like, all right, it's, it's, it's a diss. I got you. A little just, bit, yeah. Uh, well, the other thing, the other thing that enrages everybody on my TikTok specifically is I have like 4,000 followers, but I'm verified and it drives people crazy. Every video I do, that's all I want to talk about. It's like, no matter what video it is, they I see my little check mark. Like, then, why are you verified? Why are you verified? Why are you verified? Why are you verified? I'm like, just, I don't know, look at my profile. Like, it says why I'm verified. I made a video the other day of why I'm verified. And you had still. to make a video. I mean, I had that comment for the first time yesterday where someone asked me, why are you verified on TikTok? Yeah, but um, your TikTok has like a billion followers. So, like, it makes no, more sense. They look at mine and they're like, you have no followers. <laughs> well, I was, no, they were tagging other big accounts with like six million and it's like, why isn't this girl verified and you are? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't oh, yeah, they did that to me. me. That's what they were doing too. All my video about being verified there. I was like, I, that's their problem. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I'm like, I've spent yeah. six years building something online to be verified. So I don't know. I'm not that. verified on Instagram yet. Even on after Instagram, all the 20 we'll something articles. Now that, now that all, so basically it goes by national press. So now that all the press is out about you last week, now you'll be, just do the, Wait like a week. I, I I submitted for it. I submitted recently. How long do you think it takes for them to like? I don't know, but, it, but they'll let you know if you're accepted or not. It's probably delayed now because like they're putting all the resources towards COVID stuff. Honestly, that's what I assumed. It might take a little bit, but generally, it's like within the month they let you know, and then you could reapply every month. Um, so as soon as they're like not dealing with stuff, I'm sure you'll be verified now very quickly. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's such a big thing man. on Instagram, especially. Well, you know, you used to, I mean, it's, I, I mean, listen, I understand like it's cool or whatever, but it used to be really valuable because um, when you used to be verified, now like once you have 10,000 followers, you could have swipe ups. When swipe ups were first launched, it was only for verified accounts. So I actually had a huge advantage over people because I was verified. So like when I was selling ads, I would be like, I could actually have a swipe up in stories and I'm sure nobody else you're working with has that ability. So it was like monetarily valuable at the beginning. Now it's just like a cool thing, I guess. That's so interesting. I mean, I feel like you are one of, that you're an Instagram veteran, like you know everything about it and you've been in the game for so long. So it's, it's so great to learn from you. And OG. For sure. <laughs> okay. I, I can teach you about Instagram anything. and you could teach me about TikTok drinks. I'll try. Okay, <laughs> I don't think anyone else is asking many questions. No. All right. So we'll call it. Thank you for joining me. This will live on in stories for the next 24 hours. And then a video will go live on YouTube. The video will go live on my feed. The video will go live on TikTok. And yeah, any last words? Nothing. Just DM me if you have any questions about the strawberry with milk. It's super easy, but if you have any troubles, just let me know and I'm happy to help you. Cool. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.